The purpose of this video is to show you a proposal I have for handling consignment sales. What happens with a consignment sale is the material is brought into the, uh, in the gallery, hung, a uh, customer comes in and purchases the art. We receive money from the customer, and then in theory we turn around and we uh, write a check and pay the vendor, which is of course the artist. Uh, this is a way of handling it that I think is a little better than what we do today, which is very, very much reliant on um, manual processes. So the first thing that we have to do is we'll create a vendor record for the artist, but we'll also create a product and service for the artist as a consignment item. Uh, I'm going to edit this at the moment. I've already created this for artist Bob Smith. The SKU is zero. The category is consignment. Quantity on hand is zero. Reorder point is zero. Um, there is a uh, section here for reorder date that is uh, just today's date. The inventory asset account is the uh, default. The description, uh, put exactly these words in here, then the, because the art will change. Uh, every time somebody makes a purchase and so the person filling out the receipt should fill out the uh, description of the art being purchased uh, framed painting sculpture whatever it happens to be we don't know what the sales price is so we leave that empty uh, income account leave that blank as well the sales tax category is going to be non-taxable the purchasing information is the same as the description on the sales leave that alone the per person completing the purchase and paying the vendor, which in this case is an artist, uh, will complete that as well. It should match. Uh, the cost, we don't know what that is yet because we don't know which piece of art. Uh, leave the expense account alone. The preferred, preferred vendor will be the individual artist. And so you'll have to create a vendor record. You can do that here if you wish. Uh, you can just add a, a new vendor. Uh, and again, this is an inventory type product or service. So what happens? Uh, the first thing that happens is uh, we create the sales receipt. In this case, uh, Diego Rodriguez, obviously a made up name. Uh, and here down here we have uh, consignment uh, Bob Smith. We simply select Bob Smith. Uh, we are, uh, you should replace, enter, description of art with the actual description so that we know what it is that we're processing. In this case, uh, I said it was there was one of them when we were solding it, selling it for $1,999. At that point, we saved it. The second process was uh, I wrote a check to Bob Smith. I could have posted a bill, which may have been a better approach. Uh, again, Bob Smith is the vendor, so we put that down, a check from checking account. You'll notice that the category details section, which is what you usually use, is not used in this point. What we're doing is down here under item details, because this is a product or service item, and you complete that. And again, Bob Smith, it's the same item. Once again, replace this with exactly, hopefully, what you put in for the sale. In this case, we're paying Bob $999 out of our $1,999 sale. Save and close. At this point, we've processed both sides. We've processed the sale to the customer and we processed the purchase on consignment from Bob Smith. Let's take a look at our reporting. I'm going to go to reports. And the first report I want to look at is my product and service list. And you can see that I have a product or service item here. It's an inventory type. The description is exactly what we had before has a zero quantity on hand. That tells me that we have sold the same amount that we've purchased. If there was a negative amount here, that would mean that we'd sold the product, the art to the customer, but had not reimbursed Bob yet. And I can drill down and look at the record itself. Let's go back to my reports. Once again, I'm going to products and services. In this case, I'm going to the product and services uh, summary. 
And for the consignment category, I can see that I, we've sold one thing for Bob. He's made us, we've sold it for $1,999. The cost of goods sold for Bob in total is $999 even, which means we have a gross margin of $1,000 and a gross margin for Bob in total of about 50%. Uh, obviously this is gonna change. As we were, would add more artists, we would have more consignment sales listed under here so we can track it. This can be a very helpful report. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Thank you.